Smoke Adventure here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my two queen hives. I'm going to cut this into about three sections. First section is going to be preparation. Middle section is going to be how to do it. And the last section will be a little bit of why I do it and the benefits of doing a two queen hive. Let's get right down to it. So, to do this, obviously you need two hives, both queen right. So I have a extremely strong hive here. This one was a tent frame. I think it was actually, an, yeah, it was a tent frame. Extremely full, bowling out with bees. I checkerboarded ten new frames in with these. They've already drawn this out in like nine days. So this thing is, it, it's ready for a third box, actually. And so what we're going to do, instead of putting a third box, we have another queen hive over here. I'll, I'll show you this once we start adding into it. This one's about two frames, maybe just a frame of bees. This top box is all honey. This one has swarmed. She came back mated, but she she just doesn't have enough bees to keep going. You're gonna need two queen excluders, which you have. And you're gonna need some some kind of newspaper, any kind of paper, as long as it's nice and thin, so the bees can chew through it really quick. Okay, so. What we're going to do, we're going to bust this off. This might be a little cranky, just because I've been in here the other day. See if you want to come over here and peek down in, you can see how well they drawn this. I just dropped these on and you can see all the nice white comb in there. On all these frames. That one's an already drawn out. That one's a nice new one. And I looked in these the other day. These are all full of eggs down in here. So this hive is about to just explode really quick. So, first thing we do, through here. We'll put all this on here, this newspaper, make sure you don't have any gaps in between the paper. It helps if you got some propolis on your hides. If you don't, you can take uh, some sugar water and spritz down so the paper sticks really good. No, they're not. Like I said, I was in here the other day, so they're kind of devoid of bees. That's about as big as this hive is right here. It's literally on these two frames. The rest of this, these are empty. So it's like a six frame hive and the bees are only on two frames. So all I'm going to do is make sure there is no queen up here in this box. I do not want her in this box. She is right there too. There she goes. Okay. Now she's in the bottom box. It's all honey. Why she's up here just hanging out, I guess, huh? No eggs. Yeah, it's all honey, no eggs. Okay, anyways, 
So, now that that's done, put this other queen excluder on. And we go with the small coin on the top. Everything squared up nicely. That's that. Make sure she didn't run down here on the bottom board. And the top goes back on. That's that. Now we do not tear into this for at least two weeks. We want this to just be commingled. You see how these were a little ornery? If I go tearing in here, these ornery bees may come up here and kill that queen pretty quick, or vice versa, which this one's kind of small, so I'm not worried about them going out. So just leave these alone and let them be now for at least two weeks. We'll come back and I'll show you probably in another video what this looks like in two to three weeks. So benefits of doing this. First of all, this hive is huge. And it has plenty of bees to share around. This hive does not. So immediately the first benefit is, is these bees are going to eat through this. They're going to come up through this queen excluder and come up to here. Now these nurse bees will cover these frames and allow this queen up here to finally lay six frames of brood. So this will immediately give this hive a boost of nurse bees and allow her to expand, expand her brood chamber. Second thing, with two queens set up, obviously in the first month at least, this one's going to be expanding and start making a bigger brood chamber, but after that, you have twice the amount of brood rearing power, and so they'll fill this box out extremely quick with honey right here. We may get into the situation, which my honey flow is kind of petering off a little bit, but we may get into the situation where this will be completely capped. They'll be drawing these two extra frames out here because these bees will like to put honey still up, so they'll be putting honey here and here. This will be all brood. There will be a brood right here in the center, and you will produce more honey per hive than you would being a single queen hive. So the turnaround on this top hive is extremely quick for this hive to rebuild itself and be split off. You know, in three weeks you can split this thing off, and it'll almost be ready to checkerboard another box into. It, it, it'll be that strong, especially after its second month. The second month, this thing will be ready for another box. So the turnaround on a weak hive is, is a lot faster than if I was just to leave it over there by itself. It may may actually dwindle and die because there's not a fast turnaround of capped brood, hatching, and amount of nurse bees surviving till adulthood so it may actually start dwindling i've had some hives before i started doing this that looked like they turned around and all of a sudden they superseded their queen because you didn't produce enough brood and they went ahead and they dwindled and died i mean they made queen cells and the next thing you know i pop in there and they're gone they they absconded with that queen or they died because there just wasn't enough brood to keep them alive and I've converted to this and all these weak hives. I had one from the spring that I done that's behind you. That was a one frame of bees and a queen. And I done her early. And now I came over here yesterday. And this was completely packed with bees and brood all the way across. And I checkerboarded it into this one. And this hive was a hive that most people would have squished the queen and combined. And now it's it's rocket it's a rock star all i did was do the two queen hive and then move it over so it's a way to also prevent your bees you know from dwindling and dying and lowering your amount of hive numbers you can keep your hive numbers around so if, if you even have in a worse of worse situation this hive doesn't even have enough bees to 
really have any workers, and so there's not a lot of honey, there's not a lot of pollen, so she just doesn't have resources to produce a, a good amount of brood nest. This hive instantly can share its resources with this hive and get a good turnaround. There, there is some negatives to this. One negative is, is this doesn't work, and either these bees kill that queen or these bees kill this queen. In that case, you didn't really lose anything. You take the queen excluders out, let her come up, lay eggs in here, and then pull it off as a split eagle. There's always ways around that. Day. What else? That's about it. Anyways, guys, find this interesting, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Always got little beekeeping tips like this coming around. We got a lot of swarm trap videos. You know, I'll link them here, here, subscribe here. Get out there and start an adventure. That's a wrap.